Hey guys, it's Nicole. I was going to post a Workspace Wednesday video today, but I don't, it, it's not ready. I still have some editing to do, I still have some filming to do, so I'll probably just push it to next week. So I figured I would just do kind of a haul video from some recent orders that I need to put away. So this is stuff from the last couple of weeks. Um, this is from A Cherry on Top. I did a pre-order from them for the Let's Stay Home by Pink Fresh Studio. And I want to say I ordered this in March. Because I remember being on like a big Zoom call with, um, with the girls from the YouTube collab. And they were talking about it. And so I just went on and, and ordered some stuff. But I didn't get it until mid-June, I want to say, between everything going on. Um, I didn't order any of the 12 by 12 papers. I just kind of picked my favorites because since doing those Creating with Collection series, I am kind of learning that sometimes too much is just too much. So I picked up the 6x6 pad and these are either super thick papers or you get more than a normal like this is the one I just got done using. This one has 24 double-sided. This one is 32 single-sided. So um, I don't think I have any other paper by them. I think I've just picked up like random embellishments and stuff. So I don't know sort of what to expect. I just shopped basically to be able to do some stuff in month and review type layouts about being home and I liked this collection better just because it was a little bit more muted. Um, there was a couple other ones that had come out that I just wasn't a big fan of. They were either just super bright or everything involved in it was talking about, you know, being stuck at home. I liked how this one just had a little bit more like b-sides and just kind of more generic with things like this mixed in. So to me this was the the better choice for my style and my intentions of using it. Then I picked up cardstock stickers, 82 pieces, and they're cardstock stickers but they take away the negative piece from this, which I don't think I knew that. That's kind of cool. So you don't have like that negative sheet that normally comes on like the big sticker sheets. But, I don't know, I just, to me, this worked better for our life. Things like movie night happen regardless of a quarantine. We're normally homebodies. We have family dinner twice a month, that, that kind of thing. Um, and then I just picked up the die cut pack, which, no, 50, it looks like 55 pieces, so... Again, there's some good just neutral ones in here, things like, you know, neighborhood type vibes. I just, again, I like a more neutral and being able to stay on theme and go outside of theme. And then I just picked up one of the alphabets, which this is the Puffy Alphas. Again, I don't know a ton about Pink Fresh, so I don't know if they do like Doodlebug where they sort of name their colors. This is just kind of like a good... A good blue so that was all I ordered knowing that it was pre-order knowing that it was going to take a while between this specific collection kind of taking a while to get out and kind of anything that was being pre-ordered just with shipping and stuff I knew it was going to be a while I only ordered this there was some other stuff I was interested in but they tell you on their site if you're ordering and something is a pre-order to do a separate purchase, just I think it helps them keep track of it. And then otherwise you don't get any of your stuff until your pre-order stuff comes in. So push that over. And then I joined the affiliate program at scrapbook.com mostly just to kind of make my life a little bit easier on putting links down below for you guys. And if I do shop, I tend to shop at either scrapbook.com or scrapbook generation. A lot of times if it's something that I'm wanting kind of quick, I'll do scrapbook.com just because they are closer to me. And I know a lot of people shop there, so I went ahead and joined their affiliate program. So if basically if you shop through the links that I post or there is a like a generic link that has just my information embedded in it, I get like a small um 
commission or whatever. But by joining the affiliate program, they gave me a like one time use 20, 25% off coupon. So I just went ahead and decided, you know what, I'm gonna go go shopping and use my one coupon. So I think I'm gonna do the papers first because I know I had picked up some individual papers and they're not they're probably gonna seem weird. Like why would you buy two sheets of paper and just that? And it's because I'm basically just gonna mix them in with some of this the other papers that I already have. If I can get them out. Because I'm learning to only buy a full collection if I'm going to do the series with it or if it's a collection that I absolutely love. Um, this, I'm going to stick here and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so this is the new Doodlebug Barbecue line. I got it just for these journaling strips. I am, as soon as I saw these, like when they were showing the previews for their collections, this is genius to me for people that actually include journaling on their layouts and I like to type mine out so this is a really easy way to format on like Word and then um, Heather Balzer has been showing in her videos that she's been using these too and I just I think that this is an interesting size I think sometimes you need you've got more that you want to say than would fit on a three by car four card so then you either kind of split it into two or you you know you work it in a way a different way I just really like these like three by, this is probably three by eight. I don't have a ruler. I'm gonna guess, that, yeah, because this has to be three, so three by eight, but I just, I don't know, I think it's fun, I think it's cute. And being able to have like a big title block kind of emphasizes your journaling too. So I'm pretty sure that's the only paper I got from the barbecue line. Yeah. And then I picked up two from the Simple Stories Happy Trails. We don't really go camping that often. We'll go on an occasional hike or go use somebody's um, cabin up in Utah or something. So I do have some photos, but I'm basically just going to put this with the older Simple Stories, like, outdoor camping line that I have. And I'm pretty sure that I bought them. Oh, wait, I guess I bought three. Guaranteed I probably bought them for the B-sides because cloud paper is one of my favorites. This one I felt like would be good. And then I did try to make sure that I was picking patterns that I liked the pattern and had embellishment opportunities on the back. So I only picked up three of those. And then I picked up two from the Hey Crafty Girl. I love the colors in this line. I just personally don't do a ton of scrapbooking about scrapbooking. Um, I might do a layout about like a crop or something, but that's about it. And I pretty much got them for, I think these two. I love a good rainbow stripe, and then I love a good grid. So to me, these these kind of worked out well together. These sides are okay, they're just, they're not my favorite. But again, because of Simple Stories, and you guys know I love Simple Stories, you can pretty much mix and match a ton of stuff because they use the same color palette. Same thing with Doodlebug. So that was it for like the just one-off papers. And then I did get this one from the new land that I love from Doodlebug, which again, for the journaling cards. And then instead of buying the full-size collection, I got the 6x6 paper pad. And then I picked up the... 12 by 12 petite print. I'm like, I feel like they used to call them doodle print, but it's petite print. Because I like tone on tone, I like B-sides, so I would rather buy a giant pack of B-sides that I can use with anything and then just do the 6 by 6 pad with this. And especially because I do like the 6 by 6 sketches from Scrapbook Generation, so it's kind of win-win for me. And then I can use this for journaling and stuff. So that is that, and then I did pick up some of Doodlebug's new alphabets. I don't remember how many I got, but I picked up, so it's I guess it's the Sunshine font, and I got the color Mint Cupcake, What's this one, Bon Bon, Blue Jean, Ladybug, and coral. And I think what it ended up being 
three, four, five, six. I, I want to say I got six because maybe there's 18 colors. Like I figured I would just kind of break it up and get a few each time that I order. And they basically have every color under the doodle bug sort of rainbow. And I I like this size. I feel like it's kind of comparable to, oh, it's not open. I feel like it's comparable to like the medium size one in the new Simple Stories pads. Yeah, pretty, pretty similar sizing on. And I tend to use this size kind of more than I would use like a giant one. So like those. And then like I just showed you with the Simple Stories one, I got the brights. So now I have the brights, the lights, and the basics. And I think there's one more but I don't remember, I don't remember what colorway. Maybe it's more of like muted, I don't know. It's been so long since I've looked. Okay, and then, oh, and I did get the die cuts for the Doodlebug line. So instead of buying the giant 12 by 12 collection kit, especially with Doodlebug, because um, Doodlebug, pattern papers, especially the A sides, are a little bit busy for me. I like looking at them. They're super cute. But their B sides are sort of where I'm at. So I got the 6x6 pad for like the busy papers, the die cuts, the B side pattern papers in the full size, and those journaling strips. So that's going to kind of be like a little mini collection for me. Um, oh, and then I got... This is scrapbook.com's brand, just a good, like, big date stamp. Normally, I just use, like, one of these on a layout, but sometimes I do want to incorporate, like, my date as part of my design and stuff like that. So this, I felt like, was a good size. And I had never seen it before. I don't really... Oh, I guess it's just big date stamps is what it's called. Then I got... From Altenew, the fine alphabet die. I think I already put the big one away. I have the big bold one that I use a lot and I really like it. And this one, again, I it kind of reminds me of the font on Simple Stories. So this way I can make my own make my own dickers and do my own thing. And I think I caught these on sale. Like if you're gonna buy dies catch a sale and that was pretty much what it was with these so this is the honeybee balloon numbers so it makes it look like they're balloons and you've got the strings and everything what is it called yeah balloon numbers and then this is balloon card borders but i didn't get it to make cards because i want to kind of make like a border going across um like a two-page spread so i'm gonna see how these work out and then I got this mermaid stencil my daughter has always kind of been into mermaids is still into mermaids so most of her birthdays have been mermaids and I haven't really done a lot of her birthday photos so this was kind of win-win for me and then again because I'm using that coupon I was kind of buying things that normally I'm like oh that's expensive um, so I went ahead and got this Mickey punch where you've got the six different size heads um, I have a bunch of my son's first birthday still left to do, and then our whole um, Disney trip. So to me, this was just kind of a good, a good one to have. And then this was just their free thing this month. Like a lot of, or not this month. Pretty much any time you go on there, you're ordering something. There's something that you can get for free. And I think this is just like a thing to hold your dies and I lose the dies on my desk a lot so I figured I can just kind of put this up here in my thing and then throw the dies on here and then when I get done and it's time to clean up I can pull them off of here and actually put them away. This to me was actually a usable sort of freebie. Um, I guess that side doesn't stick very well. Um, sometimes I've gotten like a weird eyeliner. I don't know if it's for your face. I don't know what. Um, I've gotten weird pens, but I saw this one. I was like, you know what? That's actually usable. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and order that day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that was everything that I, I ordered. Um, it'll take me a while. I will post links below, um, especially for where I found this and this stuff. I might just drop my, like, 
shop through my affiliate link and then maybe post the links for like the specific dies and the punch. I think things like this you guys should be able to find in the store and like pick your own colors if you were wanting to go get these or even like papers but some of the tools and stuff I'll post a link so you guys can find those because I know sometimes I've had a hard time finding them in the store like you see it somewhere and you go back and you're like where did I find it so yeah that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to go ahead and edit this, upload it, and probably go back to cleaning and working on my Workspace Wednesday for next week. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye!